this is Sam Melia. Sam has just been sentenced to two years in prison for putting up stickers. I repeat, Sam has been sentenced to two years in prison for putting up stickers. Stickers with an insensitive political message, as it were. I don't believe that the stickers themselves are beyond the warm embrace of freedom of speech. I will actually read the message, one of the stickers for you, and you can gauge for yourself the validity of the message. And if you believe it to be hateful or not, so the message goes, beware Muslim rape gangs. Now, in case you don't know, you've had in the UK over the last few years a great tragedy concerning Muslim rape gangs, where they've had, they have targeted non-Muslim women, or girls, should I say, because many of them were actually girls, so primarily English girls targeted by these grooming gangs, as it's called in polite language, but let's, let's say it how it is, rape gangs. Now, the police, they were too cowardly to do anything about it, because they were afraid of these Muslim gangs. Now, of course, it became a scandal, and I can only suppose some measures have been taken. I know that Mr. Sunak, the Prime Minister of the UK, he has spoken up against it. Now, I still believe Mr. Sunak, here he needs to be clear, he needs to be completely clear about the situation at hand, because in a recent speech he said that far-right extremists and Muslim extremists, they are two sides of the same coin. Now, Mr. Sunak, I believe that this is a bit cowardly to say because this is very misleading, very far from the truth. So on one side you have a concerned citizen, a husband and a father, much like myself, with a love for his own people. He goes out, he puts up a sticker warning his fellow British people for Muslim rape gangs because it's been a danger in the UK with these rape gangs. He goes out to warn the population about this danger. And then you believe it's hate speech. So that is one side of the coin, you say then, this right-wing extremist. And then the other side of the coin is actually people going out grooming young girls, raping them. This is not the same, dear Prime Minister. Now, I like Mr. Sunak, otherwise I think he has a good aura, a good vibe. He says some decent and good things, but in this case, I think he is very misleading and indeed a bit cowardly when he equates the two. Concerned citizens putting up stickers warning for an actual danger that we've seen. A fair warning to his fellow citizens. I don't believe that is hateful in the list. Now, of course, we know the full... The full story here, Sam is being targeted not necessarily for putting up stickers. That is just the the pretext, the, the excuse they have for putting him away. He's being put away because he has put his name and face on a set of controversial ideas. And the ideas, same as I've always had, by the way, that is what to do, what is best for my own people. In his case, the British, in my case, the Swedish, but for the historically... The enthusiast of history, you know that Scandinavians and English, they are very, very connected in many ways. And as an admirer and friend of the English people, it pains me to see this once bastion of justice, always been at the forefront of justice and reason, the English, and now they've deteriorated to this absolute miscarriage of justice, where you sentence a man to two years in prison for putting up a sticker with a political message. Absolutely preposterous, if anything. No, anyway, they want to make an example of him. The anti-white regime of the UK. They want to make an example of him, saying that this is how it goes if you speak your mind, if you dare to speak up against the great replacement. As a European, you understand perfectly well that it's not good for you, it's not good for your children with with a replacement level migration from the third world. If you import the third world, you will become the third world. Really simple stuff. So that is why, that is the true reason he's been sentenced, because he had the guts, he had the courage, he had the balls, which most men do not, by the way. So my hat, I tip my hat to Sam, my full respect to Sam for standing up for what he believes in. Now he's being targeted for this reason, because they don't want anyone to go against their anti-white narrative. So anyway, full support to Sam, full support to his wife Laura as well, and to the children, of course. I can't, on a personal note, I can't believe what it would have been like to be away for two years from my own girls. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on this absolute travesty. 
thank you for watching and again my full respect to sam xxo boom <laughs>